Okay, <clears throat> now I'm going to illustrate you some fires that I've not mentioned before. The first one is merge fire. Merge fire means you can combine two fires into one fire. And uh, this function is in the data menu. Okay, when you click data menu, you will see the pop-up uh, menu. And uh, inside the pop-up menu, there is merge fire. And when you move the mouse cursor into this um, um, triangle, you will see you can merge fire by adding cases or by adding variables. Okay, I will illustrate um, these two examples. Okay, I need to open another fire uh, that is convenient to illustrate this fire. Okay, in this fire, we can see it's a data about uh, a company three sections, section A, B, C. And the sales number, the sales value of from month one to nine. And uh, I will show you another fire. Okay, here is another fire. This fire is uh, the same company, section D and E. The sales value from month one to six. Then I want to merge two fires um, into the previous fire. I want to add two variables and add D, E to the previous fire. And this fire is ABC. Okay, I will delete this. Okay, so I want to add two variables here, D, section D, and section E. Then I click the data menu and then I use merge fire. Here I'm asking a question. I need to add cases or add variables. You answer my question. I need to click this button or click the up one or the lower one. Excuse me? I think both, we need to add both. Okay. We need to add cases or add variables. Oh, very good. Very good. Okay. You are really expert. Okay. Add variables. Okay. And then I click this fire. This includes D section and D, uh, E section. Okay. Then. Uh, no need to change any uh, default uh, set in this window, and then just click OK. And you will see the DE2 variables are added, and we call it a modifier. And uh, uh, in another class, for the Chinese and the graduate students, I ask them, uh, how do you think about this function? And they said, oh, teacher, I don't need to use merge fire. I just copy, paste, and it's the same. It's easier. Yes, correct. You can use copy, paste. You just open the second fire, and you select the um, variables. You select the data you want to move to this fire, and you can use copy, paste and you can have a try. Is there any difference by using merge fire or and by, by using merge fire and copy paste? Okay, that's the uh, task for your lab, today's lab. Okay, so we can say D, E, two variables are added into this fire. And now I'm going to Add there, merge another fire. Okay, I will show you this fire. Okay, this fire is about um, uh, here illustrates month one to six. Here we have another example 
uh, another fire to illustrate month seven to nine. So I want to merge this fire, the second fire, to the previous fire. Okay, so first I need to open the previous fire. Okay, and then I want to merge uh, month seven to nine here. So I use the same function, merge fire. But in this uh, example, I need to add cases, but not add variables. So I click add cases. Okay, then I choose uh, this fire. Okay, it's merged here because uh, there are some empty cells, empty rows here. So I can move it here. I can move them upward. Maybe I need to use cart function. Cart, move them here. Okay, so I merged two files into one file. Okay, just now I mentioned analyze the scripty statistics frequencies and uh, uh, I use this fire to illustrate. And now I'm going to illustrate uh, the function of spirit fire. Okay. Uh, last section I illustrate spirit fire. Okay. We can split this fire into two groups. Uh, on default, there is no splitting. All the cases are in one group. So it says, analyze all cases and do not create groups. But now, I want to compare groups and I need to uh, define how to split groups, I mean, based on which variable I create this group. So I want to split fires into two groups based on gender. Then I double click gender and then move it to this box. Then you can say female and male are separated. Okay, now I use the same function of frequencies statistics. Then I analyze hate variable and then statistics. I also click all this I want to illustrate it on the output window, in the output window. Okay. And then chart. I also want to <coughs> hear the histograms of the data. Okay. If I click OK, then you will see in the output window, the data are analyzed by two groups. Here is group one, female, and here is group two, male. Then we can see the number of female is nine, and number of male is eight, and their statistic values are separated. We can say the mean of female and the male, okay, and also the mode of male and the mode of uh, male and the female. So we can say, uh, compared to the previous uh, example, this one, this, even though they are the same fire, but male and female are separated into two groups. So they are analyzed separately. Okay, this is the statistical values. And when I move to the histogram, we can say there are two histograms. One for this one for 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 female and this one for male. Okay, so um, that's how to combine the functions I illustrate the last section and this section together. And uh, from this section, I suppose you can understand spirit fire much better. Okay, and the uh, last section. I just illustrate you and to hear you. Okay, there are 
separated into two groups on the USA, female and the male. But if we do frequency statistics, and then we can say they are in different groups. Okay. That's how to spit the fire. If I don't want to spit it, and I want to analyze them in one group, then I just go to spit the fire and then choose analyze them into uh, in one group. Do not separate them. Okay. Now they are one group. Okay. That's the function of frequency uh, statistics. And uh, in the following, I will also introduce you descriptive statistics. They are similar, but descriptive uh, statistics have more functions than frequencies. Okay. I will also use this file, and then I analyze the head data by descriptive statistics and USA. Okay. Oh, options. Oh, yes, yeah, very similar. <coughs> Means, sum, standard deviation, variance, range, minimum, maximum, SE mean. Okay. Oh, this I move the height to variable. It means I analyze based on height. And we can see that, in fact, this descriptive um, statistics has less function, I'm sorry, has less function than frequency statistics. Because you cannot draw a table. You cannot draw a table. Uh, for example, you cannot draw a chart, a histogram chart. Uh, in the frequency uh, statistics, you can choose to illustrate maybe histogram chart and the pie chart and some. There are four charts provided in the frequency statistics, but there is no, no one uh, in the descriptive statistics. So the function is less. Okay, yes. Okay. And we can say this is an output window for the descriptive uh, um, statistics. It's a little bit different from the results illustrated by frequency statistics, but the data are exactly the same. Okay, exactly the same. Okay, okay, because here I did not create group, so all the data. Are in one group, and we can say if the value is the same. Okay, the number of the data is like 17, and then the range, minimum, maximum size is exactly the same as the one provided by the frequency statistics. Okay, so that's okay. You can also click, double click, and then you can format this. Um, uh, this table, for example, okay, you can see, you can format, format, format it according to your requirements, okay, you just double click and to, pro, uh, to open formatting tool files, okay. Then you can click it. Okay. And you can draw a dot chart for the data. Okay. If you don't need the results provided by the output window, just shut it down. Okay. In the following, I'm going to show you how to draw graphs by using this uh, menu, graph menu. Okay. Under gra uh, graph menu, you can draw charts according to the data. There are many charts provided in under this menu. For example, a bar, a 3D bar, they are similar to uh, the function provided by Excel, and the line chart, area chart, pie chart, high-low chart, 
and character chart, control chart, box plot chart, error bar, and population pyramid, scatter, histogram, as I have mentioned before, PPP, and the Q2Q, and the sequence, and so on. Okay. Uh, in the following, I will use this file to show you how to draw the histogram. Of course, you can pick histogram chart <coughs> in frequencies uh, statistics, and the chart will be uh, illustrated automatically. You don't need to draw it. But here, if you want to draw it under this menu, it's here. Yeah, okay. Okay. So I will show you how to do it. Okay. I first click chart menu and then I select histogram. Okay, so uh, what is your variable here? It's height. And then I click OK. Now you can see this histogram is exactly the same with the one I illustrated by using frequency statistics. Okay, and uh, I can also, for example, I can also um, show a line chart of height. Okay, I do a simple line define, and uh, we can choose height as my variable. And then you can see. Uh, this uh, indicates the number of uh, 150 to 154, there's one, one, one about here, from 160, uh, 160 to 170, there are two. Did you see? Uh, here, there is a line. Okay. I'll also show you another example. I open another fire. Okay, this is an example I mentioned before. It's the sales value of one company, section A, B, and C, okay? Now, I draw a 3D bar for this, uh, 3D, 3D bar chart for this value, okay? We can see I use groups of cases as X axis represents, and the Y represents groups of creates, okay, define. I define, okay, the number of case, this is an X, and this is the Z. Okay, maybe we'll try another example. We do the pie, a pie chart. Okay. 
so there may be an area area chart for this one this data is uh, suitable for area chart okay simple area oh I suppose we need a step a step because it can take three 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 One variable. Okay, we'll try A. And then we can see uh, this is the six months data for A. Okay, and then we can see, okay, that we compare to the table. Uh, it gives uh, uh, it, it sorts the data from uh, in ascending in ascending uh, ascending seconds, and then we can say this is an area table for section A, and then we can say this is an, uh, this one. This is month month four, and uh, the yellow one is uh, forty, and it's month this one. Month two, and this one, the green one is twenty six point three, and it's month three, and then the blue one is eighteen, so it's month four, and the red one is indicates forty point seven, and it's month five, and the last one is green, and the green the number is two. The twenty five point two and it's month six. It's month six. Okay. And we can also see a dot uh, chart. For example, we can see a simple scatter and this simple scatter we need to define the y axis. Y axis for example is the C section C S value. And then the x axis is the mouse. Then we can draw the scatter, the scatter, uh, how to say, scatter chart of section C. And this is mouse one, and this is mouse two, three, four, five, six. And we can see that this uh, normally we use scatter chart to uh, firstly show the tendency of the data. Here from this one we cannot see a clearly clear tendency of the data. But for some cases you can see. Okay, I will give another example. I will give another example. Okay. Here is another data file, and this data illustrates two variables, GDP and the steer consumption. Uh, when GDP is this value, 1097, and then the steer consumption is 698. Okay, there are 17 values, uh, 17 cases here. Okay, then I want to say, how the steel consumption changed according to GDP. Then GDP is the independent value variable and the steel consumption is the independent variable. GDP is in X axis and steel consumption is on Y axis. Then I use a scatter or dot chart to illustrate the tendency of steer consumption according to GDP. Then Y axis is steer consumption and the X axis is GDP. And then I click OK. And then we can say from this figure, from this chart we can say 
it's almost a linear, linear tendency. Okay, then we can say it's almost a linear. Okay. And the chart, we can also draw a box plot. I will show you how to draw a box plot. I open another file which the data is suitable for drawing this chart. Okay, here there are uh, two variables. The first one is group and then the sales. Group one, okay, group one, I recorded four cases of sales, probably from month one, two, three, four. And for group two, I recorded the sales value for four cases from month one, two, three, four. The same, okay. And for uh, Group three, I recorded four CS uh, value. Okay, from month one, two, three, four. Okay, similar. So we can say in this example, each group has four cases. Each group has four cases. Now I want to compare which one sales is better or is best. Then I can use a box box plot to illustrate it. I use a simple box that is valuable. valuable. Valuable here indicates y axis, indicates dependent variable. Okay, and dependent variable is sales. And the category axis axis indicates x axis indicates independent axis. Which one is independent? Okay, and the group is independent. Then I can say this box figure. Okay, you can say uh, group one, two, and three. This is the mean. This is the mean of the value. Mean value, mean value. Okay, from this mean value, because for sales, I want uh, the larger, the better. So, this one is the best for group three. The sales value is the highest. And for group, uh, for group one, the sales value is the lowest. Okay, so this is the uh, box chart. Okay, ROC curve. You can um, for if you want to write some research paper, ROC curve, ROC curve is very important to, to analyze the accuracy of your model or algorithm. And uh, normally, just like my master students, they make a program to draw this ROC curve. And uh, of course, you can try to draw it. Uh, by using SPSS. Okay, okay. So that's the content I introduced for today. Uh, in the following, I will give you the lab question, and you need to finish all the questions, and you um, uh, submit the lab one, the lab two on October before before October seventeen, and uh, because. Uh, uh, I, previously, I asked you to submit or to the monitor, and the monitor uh, zip the fire and to send me one fire. I suppose it's not good. Probably when you transfer, um, okay, maybe someone will copy another's uh, uh, another's uh, lab uh, requirement, lab report. So I will give you another option to submit your. Lab um, lab report personally to me. Okay, probably I will use email or okay. Someone suggested me to use um, maybe um, okay maybe a checklist or 
check mail. Okay, anyway, I will check on that you know today. How to submit your file to me, your report to me. Okay, I will stop uh, sharing my screen and I give you some time to prepare for your SPSS. And I will give you the lab question for this morning. Okay. Okay.